Yeah, my name is James Rowe and I present the Eurovision show on Spark Sunderland. Um, I also produce a, an online TV show called Eurojury, which uh, tries to simulate what the results of the upcoming Eurovision Song Contest are going to be. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's really exciting this year that um, the BBC have teamed up with BMG, the record label, to choose the song because in the past few years we've had um, a TV process uh, where the British public get to decide the songs. There's a few songs put forward and then the British public get to pick up their phones and decide which one it's going to be. Um, but this year they've done it internally, so the, um, the BBC have teamed up with BMG and have selected the song themselves, selected the, the songwriter, selected the, the performer as well. So it's, it's a lot different to what has been done in the past, but this sort of process has been is, is a proven winner, especially even last year with Duncan Lawrence, who won for the Netherlands. Um, that was their process. They internally selected the artist, they internally selected the song. So it's got a proven record um, to actually do well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward. Obviously, it's only been released fairly recently, um, but we'll see what the reaction is across Europe. So far, we've heard quite positive things from people within the Eurovision community and with it being played on Radio 1 as well, it's definitely a really good positive going forwards. This year I expect big things from the UK actually um, because the song sounds quite radio friendly, um, especially in the past few years. The songs have, I think we've tried to believe that they're actually good, but when it comes to the live performance itself, it hasn't really translated very well. Whereas this one does seem to have the qualities about it where it would, you know, it would look good on stage and it would sound good as well live. Um, and then in, you know, overall on the, you know, in the contest itself, I think it's going to sit really well. We've got quite a good mix of songs this year. And I think it's going to stand out from some of the rest of the songs that have, that have already been selected.